um, I was in traffic and, you know, I listened to Big Boy, uh, Big Boy. I listened to Big Boy in the morning and uh, yesterday he, I believe, yeah, it was yesterday he had T-Pain on his show, on this morning show, 92.3, The Beat in the Los Angeles area. And um, T.I., not T.I., excuse me, I'll get to T.I. on another day because I got to talk about that Floyd Mayweather thing. Not today, but I'm going to do a show because I'm listening to some uh, some comebacks on that. But uh, T-Pain said if he was Takashi 69 that he would do the same thing that Takashi 69 did and that was to uh snitch on Treyway. And a lot of people have mixed feelings on that, you know, because you know, I kept hearing this term code, you know, that's a street code and that's all this stuff and and, and then we look at Takashi 69. Um I don't think, you know, we never knew, you know, believed that he was about the business, but when you ask somebody like now nah, TI T pain I keep saying T.I., I, I guess I'm going to have to do one on you, brother, because uh, you hate no May May, Floyd Mayweather, man, that's a freed man. You know, he ain't no coon and southerner, but I will get back to that on another episode. But today I'm talking about T-Pain being on the uh, Big Boy morning show, and he said that he was snitch. And he said he only knew these people for three years and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But people were calling in and talking about, oh, oh, no, I went snitch. You know, that street code, you know, you can't switch and all that madness and all that stuff. I'm sitting there like, man, hold up, man. That's why I do my dirt all by my lonely, because anything that I've done, I did it by myself. And if we were with a group or anything, I, as a human being, nah, I, because I, I knew they would snitch on me. And it's something inside of me, like integrity that, you know, I have within myself that, you know, I would really have to be put in a position to make that decision because it has to be based on situation and circumstance. And I believe that the uh, the youngster, uh, 6 9 yeah, was, you know, was in a situation and circumstance. And then, you know, they went on with the show. And then uh, I think they said that Snoop uh, tweeted or text or responded and just put the word weak. And I'm sitting there, man, it's like, this T-Pain, man. T-Pain make party music. He ain't about that life. You know, he's pretty much the the first Takashi 69 on a darker level because I remember, you know, his dreads being purple. And I remember dancing and, you know, waving the shirts like a helicopter. Man, he's not about that life. So that's the wrong one to talk to. You know, but, you know, when they talk about, you know, code, uh, that that term right there, on a serious note, that term code, it, it, it's only valid when you um, are dirty, meaning you know, if you're rolling with some gangsters, you got bodies, you, you know, you didn't you didn't put in some work. You know, the homies didn't put in some work. You know, you got bodies. They got bodies. And then you get caught up. Yeah, because you're dirty. But when you're clean as a whistle and they're the ones that's doing all the work and somehow you got to do the same crime or the same time that they're they have to do. And you know that they put that work in. That's a hard pill to swallow. That is a terrible pill to swallow. So you really have to think about that, you know, and, and that's the crazy thing about it, because, I mean, man, I, I don't think he's uh, six, nine is, I mean, is as dirty as the rest of these guys. But he blew the whistle. So, like I said, if you out there doing your thing, man, do your dirt all by your lonely man. When you get caught up, you deal with your, your situation, you know, and t instead of, you know, being a rat.